Welcome back to Digging Georgia. Here's another update coming out. Um, I, I did plenty of videos every, uh, about doing an update, and uh, I keep waiting, keep waiting too long to put it out. So why not have to do a new one? So, so here's what we got going around here. Everything's starting to boom, get a little bigger. Um, I just moved my habaneros that were from last year out here in the pot and yesterday. And uh, for one day of moving, I done acquired, I already acquired um, some habaneros on there. Some little babies down there. They're already making it. There's another one right there. So, that one over there has some on it also. Just a little tiny one, but just one day of moving, moving them in total sun made a big difference. So, if you got habaneros, put them in total sun. Um, tomatoes they growing I guess <laughs> check this dirt the ground's moist because there's that pot and soil mix in there and I got my grass over it so that's, it's all wet and moist under there for them um, same thing with all this stuff uh, underneath my leaves underneath this dirt this ground's still nice and wet for them so I'll probably water them tomorrow. So if the ground's wet like that, you probably just want to do it every other day. You don't want to water them too much. Eggplants are doing some nice little flowers on them. That's where the eggplant comes out of. Um, you got two more with the flowers on it. The other one's right behind it. You got a little bulb pot for them. A squash. They're, they're getting the, the flowers on them. These little flowers, they open up in the morning time. I call it like every other squash I've had. But right now, there's no um, no male flowers right now to fertilize. So I don't know if they're going to make it or not. <laughs> they're probably going to fall off until the male ones. Well, we got some male ones coming out right there. Let's see it right there. So, who knows? Might have time to do it. Might have the time to get it on. <laughs> Here's a weird looking leaf structure, little cup color patterns. Look at that. I don't, I'm not sure which one of that is. Because I had that yellow zucchini. I think these are the yellow zucchini right here. But it look weird, don't they? Look at the leaf. Uh, I'm gonna try something. Probably tomorrow. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna try using that Miracle Grow spray to give them a little boost. I mean, everything right now is pretty getting pretty boost, but I want my tomatoes to really shoot up. I'm not necessarily worried about my squash and my, my peppers, but I'll probably get them. I'll probably hit them too with it. But other than that, I'm, I really want my, my tomatoes to, to, to give me full full uh, full bush of tomatoes this year because I've been having real problems with them. I really need help with that. So, and that soil is miracle grow soil, um, but we'll see. I'll see. And I got more tomatoes over here I planted, and they're, they're looking pretty green. I got I have no mix. This is regular soil. Nope. You know, over there is the miracle grow soil. Uh, I've seen how you know kind of experiment with the garden. That's something good to do. You know, it's kind of testing your soil. Um, it kind of gave me hope because you know my collards and my okra they don't they don't boomed out of there you know they went all crazy man but the collards i made a little collard um about two weeks ago oh well, was it two weeks that was before easter holiday easter sunday so i ate, ate it friday but now they're making more leaves getting big again and I, and they just keep picking them until they We'll start bolting. They ain't haven't started bolting yet. It's been getting some heat out here, so that's good. As long as they're not bolting, they still got plenty of life left. They won't taste as bad. Look at the cucumbers. I went ahead and did the trellis on the bottom, and, and I did the, the top. I haven't finished this part yet, but uh, I'm not really ready for this yet. I want them to climb, and they're they're already budding flowers, man. Look at all this stuff. All down in there. 
I'm trying to train him up. I need to get him over here. He's already grabbing on other places. I will let him get a little longer before I put him up there. But, uh, got my other ones. I got some other little cucumbers planted in there. They're probably going to get shaded out or something, but here they are down there. They might not get shaded out. I don't know. But yeah, that's the process right now. They're starting to come out of there. They're going to start getting on this trellis. Get the little, little arms coming out. Grabbing on everything. Let me out of here. Got my other little babies coming. They're starting to get up there. So, it's going to be a big cucumber patch over here eventually. Some okra. There's my seeds. And it's... They are being impressive, very impressive over here. I went ahead and did the mulch with my grass clippings all around here. Something must have, the wind must have got a hold of this okra. <clears throat> Pack them in there a little bit. It's been windy today. But there you are, continuing to, to grow. Some seeds still keep popping up. Throw them out. I got weed, do a little bit of weeding down here. It don't, weeds don't really bother okra too much, from my experience with them. They're getting plenty of sunlight, and they like that kind of stuff. As you can tell, you see all these little tunnels down at the bottom? Mole crickets. Little mole man's back again. I'm not gonna have to put some cinnamon down again in my garden, because one of my Pepper plants didn't make it. They got just, they got tore up. They got tore up by the, the mole cricket. You know, this one right here. So I'm down to 67 pepper plants now. But he got destroyed. He got bit up not too long ago, but he only got a stem. Stem ate off. You know, half his stem. So he's still he's still going pretty good. But uh, he had a mole crickets and come across our digging in, and they just wind up. They're not, I don't think they target it. Just, it's in the way they don't eat it, you know, they can get a hold of it. But the peppers are, they're starting to, where I, where I, where I top them off, they're starting to grow, grow more um, limbs, green, they're looking green. I haven't put any kind of fertilizer other than what I was thinking about doing, but they're just they're holding holding pretty true they was getting a little yellow usually they do that at the start because you know they got to adjust to the ground again but it's um they're taking taking root now they're, they're getting used to it starting to bud now There's a lot of buds on them i might top some of these things off again i don't know i see how it goes because Sometimes these, you know, the bell pepper plants, they had a hard time last year. They, you top them off, they, they get so many on there. I was getting like, you know, man, I can't remember. You have to check my videos out on my bell pepper. They was getting like over six to a plant and it had a lot of weight, you know. Someone gets so much on there, they, they snap. And they, you gotta, you gotta really keep up with them. But this time, maybe I learned my lesson. I, I can get more support for them this time. And my the Anaheim's they kind of the same, but they get real bushy. Anaheim's get real bushy, and sometimes they just they get heavy too. They get a bunch on there. They they're big pepper. They can get all on each other, and they look like a a glob fit, like a hand or something, fingers on there or something. So I got Tabascos, which are look they are booming up, man. Look at them thing. They get a lot bigger. They they booming up. But here's the thing. <laughs> I got Tabasco, but I got down there, got a habanero sign. So, but I believe these are Tabasco because habanero, they usually take a little longer to, a little longer to grow on my, in my garden to do. Because here's a, if this is the habanero, I see, I got two, two, well, I got two of them down there, two plants down there. I think I topped them off. Yeah, I topped them off. I see the green growth. Let's check this ground. Hey, I'm gonna have to water them tomorrow. I watered them pretty good yesterday. I, got, I even throw coal in here for my forge or burn, burn stuff. Wood coal, don't put no, um, I wouldn't put no charcoal like regular, you know, mine coal in here, but I, used, I threw a lot of burn stuff in here. Tilled it up. 
And you see a piece of wood right there. But yeah, the mole creek has been a been a pain. I mean, they haven't really did any damage other than that plant we just saw. Um, but I hear you can put cinnamon or hot spice down here. I did that earlier, and I didn't have no problem for a week until you know you get rain and washes them away and washes it down in the ground, so they don't have that potent smell anymore. So you have to keep doing it every now and then. I expect the rain. We expect the rain today, but we didn't get it. So I might go ahead and put some cinnamon down tonight. This is sweet peppers all the way down there and a, and a jalapeno tank. I already see some little bulbs growing on them. And I, I topped them all off. These got, that one has two plants. But I'll show you an example of how this works. You top them off, see the, see the branches? Make another, um, another branch there. I'm gonna have a three or four, three of them coming out the top, you can see. Uh, it's hard, kind of hard to see when it's focusing on all the thing. But I'm gonna have three or four branches coming out the top of that thing also. Like this one over here. This are, look at all them branches in there. That's branches, that's just branching off. So I'm gonna have some, same thing with that. See how them strong branches in there? You're gonna get more and more like that once you top your stuff off like that. All, all the way down. And that's what you want when you're doing peppers. You want more for your for your dollar. More for plant. Let's keep them supported. I'm gonna go ahead and keep all these cages on there because once they grow up in there, uh, you know, they have more support from the wind. Um, I might go ahead and go down there near the river and get some more of these reeds which I'm going to have to do for these plants because I don't have any more cages. I was lucky they had that many cages. But they're going to need support because we're going to have that hurricane season coming up here shortly. And that's going to... It, it, it can turn these plants around. Like make them look like little pinwheels or something going around in a circle. Here's another evidence of Mr. Mole Cricket digging around in here somewhere coming up in here like an idiot. See, they got good tunnels too, man. Hmm. Well, leave my crap alone, boy. I don't know where they at, but they in there somewhere. Ain't nothing you really can do to a mole cricket in a garden without putting pest control down there and hurting your garden. So it's just best to you know, deter them. Or you can even use these curry cups, I, I put on a couple plants um, just to see if they worked or not. But I don't, you know, I don't know if they work or not anyway. But, oh, I can't remember which ones had it. I put it on a couple. There's one. See, I cut the curry at the bottom of the cup and the side, and I I wrapped it around my plant stem and I push it down in the dirt a little bit. So when that mole cricket comes, he he can't, it just blocks them. So they just go around it or something like that. So we think. <laughs> There's some more mole cricket bull crap going on around here, man. They like it. I think they like wet dirt because dirt is good and good and wet right now. Even all the sun I had out today. Acorn squash. Should I thin this stuff out or not? I don't, I'm not sure. Um, I might I might take them out. I don't know if I should thin it out though. I mean, I've got two big ones right here. That little baby one. About three three to a mile. If, it, if they're not budging with growth, I'll go ahead and probably take one more out. See what happens. Other than that, besides my bolting radishes, I plan on having bolt since they wasn't really doing no, they would, didn't do a good job over here in the shade. I'm gonna let them bolt, see if I can get some flowers and I can take the seeds. They have some decent seeds. So. And my other ones did pretty good. I'll have a little video of that coming out. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna tack it in on this, on this video, show you what I got. That's it 
for the update today. You have a good weekend and try to get out there and do some garden work, man. I mean, it just you come home during the in the morning or you get up in the morning time, check your garden out. Looks good in the morning, and you come home, water it. Looks good in the afternoon, and makes you feel good too. So you get out there and do some gardening and enjoy what you do. Um, give stuff out to people if you can, and uh, share your stuff. I'll take care.